Hey, planner friends. I used to think that everybody thought like me, that we all had 674 tabs open in our brain and could not sit still. I thought we all were hyper-organized with a million planners so that we wouldn't forget anything. Turns out not everybody is like that, and I have ADHD. I was undiagnosed for like 40 years, and I have been using planners and organizational tools to get myself through. I have a daily planner for my entire life. I have a work planner, a content planner, a fitness planner. Now I understand that for other people with ADHD, that might be overwhelming. We all have different symptoms. We all have varying degrees of symptoms. So what works for me may not work for anyone else. Recently, I decided to Google best planners for ADHD. I don't know why, because I love my Erin Condren. I love my Archer and Olive Bujo. I just impulsively was like, let's see what's out there. And I found a bunch of lists with different planners. And I thought, maybe I should buy those planners and review them for my channel. So I impulsively bought a bunch of planners. Let me put these down, they're a little heavy. So my plan is to review these and see if there is any planner that might work better for me in my lineup than what I currently use and maybe help you find a planner that would be perfect for you. Now, a little bit about me and my ADHD. I am combined type with a heavy leaning on the hyperactivity. A lot of my hyperactivity though is in my brain, but I also have problems sitting still. As you can see, I talk with my hands. What you can't see is I'm like swinging my legs, moving my feet. I just struggle sitting still. I get very restless. As a kid, I was very active. I was called hyperactive too much. I would interrupt adults all of the time because if I didn't get the thought out, it was gone forever. I still have that problem. Without medication, it feels like my brain has 3,472 tabs open and I'm not sure which one I need to access. I have a hard time completing goals. I am really good at coming up with goals, setting parameters, things like that. What I struggle with is breaking them down and finding actionable steps. I also struggle to focus on a single task at one time. For example, I'll be washing the dishes in the kitchen and I'll remember that the towels need to go in the dryer. So I'll go and I'll put the towels in the dryer and then I'll be like, oh yeah, I wanted to clean the bathroom. So I'll go to the bathroom and then I'll be like, oh, I need the glass cleaner to clean the mirror. So I'll go back to the kitchen where I realize I left a sink full of soapy dishes. And then I finish the dishes and start the whole thing all over again. I struggle to sit still while watching TV. I can't just watch TV. I'm either moving, stretching, reading, writing, playing on my phone, something. And clearly I struggle with impulse buying. Now for the planners for ADHD, what I plan to do is first review each individual planner for you go over the layout, the size, what pens work, all of that fun stuff. And then I will use the planner for about a month or so and do a second video weighing in on if it helped me, what I liked, what I didn't like, all of that stuff. All of the planners that I've bought so far are undated except for one. So that's not an issue with when I start this project. And I may also be giving away some of the planners after I test them out because I don't need half a dozen more planners. So if you're interested in a planner, 
be sure to watch for the giveaway because I would like them to go to a good home. I also have two more like specialty journals, I guess I would call them for ADHD on pre-order. I found both of those through How to ADHD. One is the Heroes Journal, which I know there's two versions that are available now, but I really wanted the space one because I love space. So that's on pre-order. The other one is the Anti-Planner, and I believe both of them are supposed to ship sometime in August. So once I have those and get a chance to look at them, I will do a review. I'll start using them and then give you a more in-depth review on those as well. I will leave the links to the list that I use in the description box below. I have ordered about half of them and the rest of them are on my Amazon wish list to do at a later time. I at least held myself to like half at a time. What planners have you seen recommended for ADHD that you would like to see me review? Or just which planners in general do you want me to review? Let me know in the comments. And if I haven't already bought them, I will add them to my ever-growing Amazon planner wish list. So leave a comment, like the video, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And until next time, may your planning and coffee be strong. In my stack, or on my Amazon wish list, I will definitely. That was not very good. Mm -hmm.